Okay, folks, nutrition tips with T Bear. We're back. Uh, someone asked last week about some ideas for snacks. They were having a tough time with that. So, T Bear's got some advice for us all. I do. Um, the main thing when I'm looking at people's you know, diet logs and stuff like this, um, they always go, tend to go towards processed foods like chips, earnest ice cream, right? Double chocolate cookie, right? Those, those aren't the best snacks, okay? Um, so I want you to think real food, um, lean towards balanced or uh, zone-like meals, right? Uh, so I wrote a few of these down. Um, back in the day, we used to do the boiled egg, half an apple with almond butter. There's one snack. Uh, how about a half cup of Greek yogurt with four or five pecans? Um, you can get your leftover chicken or turkey, you know, two ounces of that, have a carrot, five olives, right? Balanced. Uh, two ounces of salmon, a cup of broccoli. You probably have two cups of broccoli um, and six almonds. Or, you know, we can get fancy and make these um, sweet potato with avocado and bacon on top and have them. They're tasty. Um, other things like bliss balls that just have coconut and blueberries. Um, I wouldn't always suggest to do the ones with the dates <laughs> as they're a little bit higher in sugar. Um, or even you can go to a protein shake, right? Tablespoon of protein in a water, a cup of berries, you know, five cashews as your fat in there, and you're good to go. So my question would be like, how, like how much food is in a snack? Um, well, if we did it by zone terms, right, we go by two blocks, right? And so we're looking at, you know, 20 grams of carbs, um, about 15 grams of protein, and then anywhere around nine, 10 grams of fat, right? So balanced, not like, like I said before, bag of chips, 40 grams of carbs and bad oils, right? <laughs> Don't eat the chips. So think about less um, carbohydrate based and then just balance it up with a little bit more protein and the easy fats like coconut and nuts, but not the roasted ones. Cool.